I believe he will build himself as the world's only stone sea slug sculptor. That's how Dave from the Maritime Aquarium in Norwalk describes Gar Waterman, a local sculptor who's helped bring a slug's life facing the Climate Endgame exhibit to life. I grew up with a father who was an underwater filmmaker, so I spent a lot of time working with him and I've always been uh, fond of these little beasties. And uh, when I became a sculptor, it was only natural that I would work with some of the marine forms that uh, were part of my life for so long. Rather than just live animals, it incorporates all sorts of beautiful photography and sculpture about these really interesting little creatures called nudibranchs, which are a type of sea slug. And those little creatures, they need some attention too. The way that the ocean climate is changing, that uh, they become somewhat vulnerable to ocean warming, ocean acidification. But they are tiny, some smaller than three inches long. But if you look closely, you can admire their beauty. We get people to slow down and say, wait, what are these little creatures? Rather than just looking in a tank and maybe not seeing them right away and moving on to the sea turtles and the sharks and things like that. So we want to slow them down and these beautiful sculptures and photography help do that. A great example of how art and science together can really be a, an effective communicator and, and a good way to get people's attention and help them appreciate some of these, especially some of these smaller creatures. So what he does is to take these beautiful little, uh, sort of squishy little soft animals and create them out of a very solid piece of marble, but to have them, uh, have them capture the way that they look in real life out of such a unforgiving medium, it's very interesting and creative. And it wasn't easy either. Most of these sculptures are made from materials like onyx and marble and take months to finish. But for Gar, it's not work, it's a passion. I never mind putting the time in. And all that time sure did pay off. I mean, just take a look at all of the beautiful things inside of this exhibit. It will be open until June 13th and it's free with admission to the aquarium. What's on your CT bucket list? Let us know at share61 at fox61.com. In Norwalk, I'm Margot Farrell, Fox 61 News.